Why do I feel like an idiot on camera? Oh, it's been too long since I've made a video. What's up guys, Jack here with MTS, and now that I'm fully moved into the apartment, I figured it would be a good time to show you guys kind of my network setup that I have going, well, for the meantime. I am going to be doing some upgrades to 10 gig and a little bit more 2.5 gig stuff here, but right now I'm currently running everything basically at 1 gig, and so I figured we could talk through kind of how I have everything connected and configured in terms of, you know, switch placement, cable runs, things like that here in an apartment. All right, jumping into the computer here, I have a rough network diagram laid out here. Yes, I do have seven switches and they are all pretty much chained together, except for the TP-Link big boy. That's not the actual name of the switch. I do have a dedicated review coming out on this switch because it is a pretty awesome switch. I just call it the TP-Link big boy because the actual name for it is terrible. Um, so this is kind of acting as like my core switch, if you will, in terms of this is kind of the hub that everything connects into. Um, but starting things off in the garage, I have two basic TP-Link 5-port unmanaged switches, and then I have a TP-Link 8-port PoE switch that's connected to my server, which is on top of the refrigerator, and that's all connected to a UPS here. Then things chain up to my bedroom where we have the TP-Link big boy switch. That's the 2.5 gig, 10 gig, PoE, all the fancy things switches. It's awesome. I love this switch. And that feeds out to a ubiquity switch is the usw 16 poe and then it also feeds out to a usw flex and a flex mini from there getting into more of the internet side of things of the network the ont is currently being powered by a poe extractor which is being powered by a poe injector in my bedroom the reason i have it being powered over a poe extractor or poe in general is so that way i can power the ont off of my UPS that's here in my bedroom. I don't have to have a second UPS out in the living room just powering the ONT. So in the event of a power failure, my entire, I guess, operation here stays online. And that's connected then to the AT&T gateway and then to my router, which then goes back to the TP-Link switch. And this TP-Link switch is also on this same UPS here, but the shape just didn't work out. Now let's look at the actual network itself and see how it's all wired up here at my apartment. All right, so starting off down here in the garage, I have my drum kit and a network switch down in there. It's just a basic TP-Link unmanaged five port switch and that connects in my soundboard uh, to Dante and with control as well as my laptop down here. And then I have an iPad for controlling the soundboard from sitting at the kit without having to bend over. Then running up here, we have my network cable, which takes it to another little network switch. Again, just a TP-Link 5 port unmanaged switch, which then connects into my mining rig. It's just a single 2060 in there. Then moving along, we have a security camera and the actual networking stuff on top of the refrigerator. So this is my server as well as a TP-Link managed switch. I have my server connected in over fiber just because that's what all of the uh, all the VMs and Docker containers are running off of, as well as I also have IPMI. We also have an access point down here in the garage, and this is the Omada controller running all of the TP-Link Omada equipment. I also have a UPS here, and that's powering all of this equipment. Coming inside, I have a small hole that I drilled to bring a network line upstairs. And this is just, again, a cable running along the wall, nothing fancy. Now this cable then gets coupled to another cable where it extends around the laundry machine and dryer, as well as the pantry shelves and water heater. Comes along here and then just gets taped across the walkway here and then goes into my bedroom. But before we take a look at my bedroom, let's take a look at the ONT out here in the living room. The ONT here is being powered by a TP-Link PoE extractor. Now this allows me to power the ONT from inside my bedroom, so that way it can be powered off of the same UPS that powers everything else for my network. That way I don't have to have a separate UPS out here in the living room and it keeps things nice and clean. All right, entering my bedroom, the cable gets coupled again and extended another 50 feet. 
But here is the network jack that actually goes out to the living room. And so this is an Aria Live flex -off cable. Again, love the Aria Live cables. This cable then comes and gets connected to a Ubiquiti PoE injector, which is tucked away behind there, which then feeds into the AT&T gateway, then out of the AT&T gateway into my PFSense router, out of the PFSense router into the TP-Link two and a half gig big boy switch, where it then feeds to the access point here, as well as to the Ubiquiti switch over by my desk. This is just the USW 16 PoE. It also then feeds to a USW Flex, which is behind my bed. I have the USW Flex behind my bed, one, so that way I can have a network jack in bed so when I'm working on video projects and stuff on my laptop, I can have a wired network connection. It also then feeds a power line adapter, which gives networking to the printer in the office. And then that USW Flex also then feeds to my closet, where it's connected into a USW Flex Mini, which feeds this printer, as well as a few other things that I have in here, such as a Hubitat and a couple other little devices for testing. But yeah, so my network really is just kind of a big chain of switches, which again, is not how I like to do things. I much prefer having all of my switching happening centrally with dedicated lines that go to each different area of a house. But in an apartment, I don't exactly have that luxury. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. If you really liked it and want to see more of me in your subscription feed, well, then you can go ahead and get subscribed. I'll have links down in the description to all the different pieces of gear that I'm using. Again, I'm using gear from both TP-Link and Ubiquiti because I don't have enough gear on hand from any single vendor to do all of this stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Let me know what your apartment network looks like or how I could do this better. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.